Okay, the last video I showed you some calculators, and so I thought I'd stay on that theme and show you an older calculator. Uh, I know it doesn't look like a calculator. Uh, nice piece of wood here. Um, looks more like a typewriter. Uh, it's in a case. Um, let, me, uh, let me pull the camera off here. Sorry for the, for the motion here, but I want to show you the side. It has a, uh, it has a handle and has a lock. Uh, it has a base, um, so it's in this nice case. Oops. Uh, so let's uh, let me put the camera back. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So let's open this up. Uh, I happen to have a key for it, so we'll uh, open up and take a look at the calculator. Here we go. So you might be wondering. Um, why does it have a key? It, it, it's certainly small enough that I can just pick it up and carry it away. Um, I suppose maybe you could bolt it down, um, but I don't think it would really keep anything out. Um, but uh, there's a good reason uh, that you would have a case that you could lock down, and that was to go to lunch. Um, so you might be doing a whole bunch of calculations on this thing, and uh, you were halfway through your day, and it was lunchtime, but you didn't want to have anybody mess up your settings. Um, and so you would put the lid on it and lock it, and then nobody else could uh, mess up your numbers. And then you'd come back, and they were where you wanted. So I think that's what the case was for. Um, there's a whole bunch of these. These are called pinwheel calculators, or... Um, um, I, th I don't know, sure whatever na other names there are. Um, uh, this one was made by Burns Viga. Um, uh, this is a small little one. Uh, they're usually bigger than this. This is kind of a, a small version, uh, so it says midget. Uh, so it was a, a nice, a nice, nice tiny one. Um, and uh, you might think, okay, what is it? Uh, it must just be a, a weird. It almost looks like one of those machines that you use to cancel checks. Um, it does have a, it does have a crank on it, so you can, you can crank this thing. Um, yeah, but it has numbers, and it has this funny thing here. Uh, this thing here um, actually is something that uh, you can move. Uh, it slides back and forth, and um, you can increment it by ones, left or right. And it's like a typewriter carriage. Uh, it is a carriage, and we have... Uh, uh, some numbers down here and numbers up here and so let's, let's see if we can't kind of show you how this thing works uh, all right let's let's look up here okay so there are uh, little levers uh, that it may be hard to see but this is little levers and you could set them from zero to nine and um, so we have them all set to uh, set to zero, and we're going to put in a number here. I'm going to set this one's digit here to uh, the value three, and this one to the value two, and this one to the value one. One two one two three, and I'm going to crank it once, and then we're going to look down here. And I don't think you can see that, but uh, we've now entered 123. So this is the accumulator. So um, let me change the camera angle a bit. All right, there we go. So now we can see the numbers here, and we can see the accumulator. So I'm going to crank it one more time. Uh, I'm going to have to crank this left-handed so I don't get in the way of the camera. So I've, calcul I've cranked it twice, and so... Uh, 123 plus 123 is 246. Um, so that's cool. So it's an adding machine. We can put in a number here, and we can add it. And every time we crank, it adds it by one. Um, you can also think of that as multiplying. Uh, so we multiplied it by uh, two, I guess, if we cranked it twice. Um, we'll crank it again three times. Oops, I cranked it backwards. Oops. So now it says 123. So you can subtract. We can crank it forwards. 
or we can crank it backwards. So every time you crank it forwards, you're adding. Every time you crank it backwards, you're subtracting. Okay? So now we can add and subtract. Wouldn't it be nice if we could multiply? Well, we can multiply. Um, and I'm going to show you how to multiply on paper first. And then we'll come back to the calculator and see if we can't do it on the calculator. Now, I know everybody can't read my handwriting, so I'm trying to, I'll try to be really careful here. All right, so we have 123. And um, let's say we want to add. So this is what we did. We just added those two, and we, we would have gotten uh, uh, two here, four here, and six here. So how does the calculator work? Well, the calculator has gears in it. And when you slide those levers, you change the number of teeth in the gear. So you can change it so this gear would have three teeth. So every time you crank it, it would go click, click, click. It would, it would increment it by threes. This gear would be set so it only had two teeth, and this gear would only have one tooth. So that's the way that works. And if we crank it, then this column would have gotten six clicks. So it would get a six. And this would have went click, 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 four. And this would have clicked on what two, so um, that's the way that's the way it would have worked is by numbers of gears. Okay, so what if we wanted to multiply? Well, um, if we want to multiply by three, we would just we would just crank it again. So just keep cranking. So if you want to multiply by sixty-four, you just crank it sixty-four times, um, but that's not very efficient. So let's take a look at a, a different way of doing things. Let's start with 123. And let's say that we want to multiply that by 123. So 123 times 123. So we would have to crank it 123 times. So that would take a long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to first look at how we multiply uh, the way that you were taught in school. Okay. So if you wanted to do 123 times 123, you would say, okay, I'm going to start with a 3, and I'm going to do 9, 6, 3, and then I'm going to do the 2's, but I'm going to shift it over, remember? We're going to do 6, 4, 2, and then I'm going to do by 1's. So, 1, 2, 3, and then I'm going to, I'm going to add these up in, the, in their columns. I'm going to get 9. 2, carry the 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, carry the 1, 5, so 15, 129. Okay? So that's how you were taught in school. So let's do it almost like you were taught in school, but we're going to do it a little bit different. Move over here with some more paper. Okay. We're going to do 123, and we're going to add it three times. That's the same thing as multiplying by 3. Okay, if you add these up, we would get 9, 6, and 3. That's the, what, what we got over here. And now we're going to go over a column. We're going to do 123 and 123. Okay, and we're going to shift over a column and we're going to do another 120, 123. So what we've done here is we've added 123 three times in the ones column. Here we've added 123 two times, but in the tens column. And here we've added 123 once, but in the hundreds column. Okay, so three times there, 20 times there, and 100 times there in these columns. If we add these up, we get 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Carry the 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 4, 5, 1. We get the same, we get the same number. So 123, 123, 123. But we're using the idea that the columns are multiples of 10, right? You've got you know, the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column. So Let's see if we can't use this idea with the calculator. 
Okay, so we're going to start off here. We already have something in the accumulator, so we're going to twist this little thing here. That resets our accumulator. And um, we're going to uh, uh, take our 123, which is still in here, 123, and we're going to put three in the ones column. So we have our 369, and then we're going to shift the accumulator into the tens column, crank it twice, and we're going to shift it into the hundreds column and shift it once, or crank it once, and we get 15,129. So we've multiplied 123 by 123, only cranking six times, right? Three, two, and one. Um, so you can see that. It's very efficient. In fact, if you look inside algorithms and stuff or from computers of how things are actually done in multiplication, you might find a type of algorithm just like this, um, where you use the fact uh, where there are columns. And you can do shifting, which are rotates in computer, um, and addition. So rotates and, rotates and additions are, are multiplications. Um, so you can also divide. So we've learned how to add, subtract, we've learned how to multiply. You can divide, it's a little trickier. Um, you can uh, start with a number, um, like this number here. You can place that number in here and you can start subtracting things off of it. So you can subtract things off with the hundreds until you get an overflow and then you go, oops, go back one. Um, and um, it's a little more difficult, but you can do a division as well uh, with these calculators. So, uh, four function calculator, no motor, just a crank. Um, this one has uh, 18 de decim decimals of resolution. Uh, so you can multiply a, a nine uh, digit number times a nine digit number, get an 18 digit number. Um, yeah, they're quite clever little devices.